Look at this. I created a children animated story. Let's take a look on it. There was a little boy named Sam. Sam lived in a small village surrounded by beautiful green fields and tall swaying trees. Sam loved exploring and going on adventures. One sunny day, as he was walking through the village, he noticed something shiny under a bush. He felt curious and went to see what it was. To his surprise, he found a special key. Sam's heart filled with excitement as he wondered what this key could unlock. He held it tightly and decided to go on a quest to find the mysterious door it would open. I will show you the full video at the end. First let me tell you that you can earn a lot of money by creating such videos and uploading them on YouTube. Now let's take a look on how I created children animated stories using an amazing text to image generator. I will show you the whole procedure step by step so don't miss the video. First of all you need a script, so I will go to ChatGPT and generate a short children's story. After generating the script, I will simply copy my script. Now I need a voiceover. For generating the voiceover, I will go to 11 labs. I will go to speech synthesis, then I will select the voiceover artist. Then I will simply paste my script and click on generate to generate my voiceover. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Sam. Sam lived in a small village surrounded by beautiful green fields and tall swaying trees. Then I will simply download my voiceover. Now, the next step is to generate AI images. For AI text to images, I will simply go to this website called AI Tubo. This website generates amazing images. You can create images for your game assets, character designs. You can even generate cartoon characters using this website. It just works amazing. So click on get starting now to get started using this website. So this is the dashboard. It looks like Leonardo, but it even works better. Click on AI generator to start generating AI images. On the right side, you can just set the settings for your images. You can select the number of images you want to generate in a single prompt. Then you can select the image dimensions, whatever dimension you want for your image. I will select 16 ratio 9 because I want images for my YouTube video. Then you can increase or decrease the guidance scale. Guidance scale simply means how well the prompt matches to your images. Then you can increase or decrease step count. Step count means how many times the image is refined during the process. Then there is also an image to image tool. You can upload your images to get similar results. Now I will go to chat GPT and see what is my script about. So you can see it's about a boy called Sam and he lives in a village surrounded by beautiful green fields. So I will copy all these details and paste in the prompt so I can get the similar results. Then I will write some negative prompts as well that I don't want mutated blurry images or weird images. Then I will select the model. There are a variety of models that you can use for your images. I will select cartoon craft because I want cartoon images. Then I will simply click on generate button to generate my images. So here is the result of the images and you can see the images look so good. I am simply in love with all of these images. So you can simply just download your images. You can also send these images to the cloud or upscale them. Just pick a scale and click on upscale. It will just cost you some extra coins. So after that, I will download all of my images that I liked. Then I will go back to my script and see what other images I have to generate. Here you can see it is talking about a special key that Sam has found. So I will write these lines in the prompt properly so it can show me some images where Sam is holding a key. Don't just copy paste the scripts, refine your prompt so it can generate accurate images. So here is the result and you can see the images are really good and the boy is also holding a key. But the only thing is that the face of these images does not match with the first image that we created. So how to create consistent images? How can we create the same face in every image? How can we create the same boy in every image? Watch the video properly. I will tell you how to create consistent and characters so first go to the image to image tool and upload the image that we created first upload the image of the boy where the face is shown properly after that increase or decrease the strength this matters a lot it will tell the ai generator tool that how much similarity we want in our images so you have to set your strength properly after that generate your images so here you can see it has generated the same boy that we wanted 
but it does not match properly with our prompt. We want a key that Sam is holding in his hand. So in addition to the strength of the image, we also have to set the guidance scale. Guidance scale simply means how well your images matches to your prompt. If you increase the guidance scale, it will follow your instructions more properly. So we have to set both the guidance scale and strength of the image so that it can generate more consistent characters. So after setting them, I will generate my image. So here is the result and you can see the image looks so good, the consistent character holding the key. After that, I will go back to my script and see what I have to generate next. So in the next scene, I have to generate a forest with tall plants and colorful flowers. So I will copy these lines and paste them in the prompt and then I will generate my images. So here is the result and the images. They look good but not much consistent. So if you don't get the desired result, you can adjust your guidance scale and your strength of the image. Here I will set the strength of the image to 0.6 and I will also change the guidance scale. I will increase the guidance scale to 19.1. Then I will generate again. So here you can see I have got the accurate result where the boy is standing in a forest with tall trees and flowers. So I will download my images. You can see by just adjusting the guidance scale and strength, you can get the desired images. So in the same way, I will generate my rest of the images as well. So now I need an image where the boy founds a hidden door inside the old tree. So I will copy this and paste in the prompt. Then I will upload a previous image I downloaded to give it a reference that what kind of scene I want, what kind of background I want. So after that, I will increase the strength to 0.9, then I will generate the images. So here is the result and you can see the images are so good and I like this one image as well and this image as well. So I will download it. So in the same way, I will generate my other images as well. Now I want an image where the fairy comes out of the cage and she stands in front of the boy. So you can see I have got the exact images I wanted. So I will simply download them. You can also get extra coins if you check in daily. So just try this website out. You can see how beautifully it has generated my images. So now I will use an editor to combine all of my pictures and add voiceover to them. I will use Canva. You can use whatever editor you want. I will go to Canva, upload my images over there. Now I will simply just set the images as background one by one. You can see how I'm doing this. Just keep on uploading your pictures in a sequence. Just add a new page, then add your image, set it as background and keep on repeating the same procedure until you have done adding all of your images. Then I will also add the voiceover that I created using Eleven Labs. I will edit my video properly. There was a little boy named Sam. Sam lived in a small village surrounded by beautiful green fields and tall swaying trees. Sam loved exploring and going on adventures. One sunny day as he was walking through the village, Now I will go back to AI Tubo and select its editor tool. I will upload an image over here. Then click on the second arrow icon you see on the right side. Then you have to change the image dimensions and bring this square box over the image. So I will change my image dimensions and bring this square box over the image properly. After doing that, click on the third brush icon you see. Then select the area where you want to add any object. I want to add a fairy over here so I will select this area and I will write below in the prompt that I want a fairy with wings. After writing my prompt, I will click on the generate button to generate an object over this place. So you can see it has added a fairy over there and after that I will accept it and download the image. Then I will go back and select the AI talking avatar tool. Here I will upload the image of the boy that I created. 
After that, I will write a script to generate a talking avatar. You can also upload an audio script. I will write a script. Then I will select the full image, gender and language and then I will click on generate. Hi, my name is Sam. Watch the full video to hear about my story. You will enjoy it. Then I will simply download my talking avatar video. After that, I will go back to Canva and add this talking avatar video as well over there. So I will compile all of my images, my video, my voiceovers properly over here and edit my video. You can also add transitions and animations to your video using Canva. So after editing the video, I will save it and now let me show you the final Hi, result. Hi, my name is Sam. Watch the full video to hear about my story. You will enjoy it. There was a little boy named Sam. Sam lived in a small village surrounded by beautiful green fields and tall, swaying trees. Sam loved exploring and going on adventures. One sunny day, as he was walking through the village, he noticed something shiny under a bush. He felt curious and went to see what it was. To his surprise, he found a special key. Sam's heart filled with excitement as he wondered what this key could unlock. He held it tightly and decided to go on a quest to find the mysterious door it would open. Sam went into a magical forest where he saw tall plants and colorful flowers. As he walked deeper, he heard a soft tinkling sound. Following the sound, he discovered a tiny fairy trapped in a see-through cage. The fairy told Sam that only the magical key could set her free. Sam felt so happy because he had found the door the key unlocked. He hurried back to the village, found the door hidden inside an old tree, and put the key into the lock. With a little turn, the door made a squeaky sound and opened, revealing an amazing world full of wonder. The fairy was free, and she thanked Sam for being so brave. As a special gift, she offered Sam a lasting friendship. From that day on, Sam and the fairy became the best of friends. They explored the forest together, met other magical creatures, and had incredible adventures. Sam's kindness and courage had brought him a friend who would make his life magical and joyful. And so, with his new friend by his side, Sam's days were filled with laughter and enchantment. So that's it. This is how you can create children's stories using this tool, AI Tubo. Now let me tell you a way through which you can earn extra coins. Just scroll down and there you will see a Discord button. Just click on that Discord option. Just click on the link of the form you see there. You just have to join their community and you can get free coins. Click on the link, fill out the form and simply submit it. You can also give them feedback about their tools in the Discord community. And this is how you can earn extra coins. This website also has a personal space and cloud storage. You can save your generations in this cloud. Now, if we check its premium plans, you can see it is so reasonable. The basic plan just starts for $13 per month and you can get 8,000 tokens per month. So I will suggest you to give it a try because this website is simply amazing. So that's all. Please do like and subscribe to support me so I can make more future AI videos for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.